As we start getting into the months of May and June, we begin to see some changes both in and around the vernal pool. As you walk through the forest to get to your destination, one of the first changes you will notice is the leafing out of trees and the grand entrance of forest floor plants, some with beautiful spring flowers. One of the first to poke up from the leaf litter is the Jack in the Pulpit. This plant has three leaflets and flowers inside of a spathe covered by a hood. Another early spring plant with flowers inside of a spathe is the skunk cabbage. These are often seen around vernal pools and other wetlands. The foul odor of this plant attracts its pollinators which are flies and some bees. The first trees start to leaf out in early May, including the red maple, red oak, and hickories. Flowering dogwoods brighten up the forest with their beautiful white or pink flowers. Another beautiful flowering tree that can sometimes be seen is the crab apple. A variety of ground cover species are often seen along the trail to the vernal pool. These include wintergreen and partridge berry, both with their bright red berries, spotted wintergreen, and the leaves of Canada Mayflower. The dreaded poison ivy makes an appearance in early spring with leaves that often are shiny red. Ferns also start to appear, including wood ferns, hay-scented ferns, and sensitive ferns. Violets are also common in early spring. Later in the spring, you'll see Eastern Starflower, Canada Mayflower, and Wild Sarsaparilla. One of the most beautiful spring flowers is the Pink Lady Slipper which is a member of the orchid family. The most common trees seen around vernal pools and other wetlands are the red maple, red oak, white oak, white pine, and sassafras. A flowering shrub commonly seen around vernal pools in late May is the blueberry. The bell-shaped flowers attract a number of pollinators including bees and butterflies. Other common shrubs often seen around vernal pools include sweet pepper bush and button bush. <laughs> 